What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out, yes, I'm holding one of the items we're going to be trying out today. We are going to be testing out the new Storybook Cosmetics Rose Brush Set. I mean, look, before we even dive into everything, we just gotta look at this damn thing because they are so amazing. Storybook Cosmetics is an indie brand that I discovered on Instagram and I reviewed their eyeshadow palette like a month or two ago. It was the Wizardry and Witchcraft palette, which looked like this, and this was Jeffree Star approved. I love the formula and I, I just, I don't know, I'm just really into the um, shadows themselves and of course the packaging is stunning. So besides testing out the rose brush set in today's video, I also have a giveaway that I am doing. Now, this was just done on my own um, and I bought this stuff with my own money. I did not team up with the brand, but if you want to enter the giveaway, you will be winning this eyeshadow palette. So this one is brand new, obviously. <laughs> Besides the eyeshadow palette, I am also giving away the entire brush set that I am reviewing today. Not the used one, of course. So everything will be brand new and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave a comment down below. You can say hi, you can comment on the video, you can give me uh, an emotional whatever you want to do but leaving a comment down below will enter you and you have to be subscribed to my channel besides that you guys let's dive into the rose brushes all right you guys so when you get the rose brush set it comes in this beautiful storybook um, cosmetics pouch I love it and look at the little bow you guys I think all the little details that they do is really cool um, the bow obviously is for pulling the zipper and then it has a little charm on it um, on the back there is a William Shakespeare quote it says what's in a name that which we call a rose by any other name would smell sweet girl that's cute. For $55, that's what this retails for, you get the little pouch and then you get four, bam, of the brushes. Now listen, from a packaging whore like myself who is so into this type of stuff, I was obsessed when I saw these on Instagram. I mean, just look at them, the detailing. You, you get the little logo right here and these feel heavy, you guys. I know I always talk about weight and stuff and it's always a fucking like, you know how I feel about a heavy product? These feel nice. Now, I do wanna talk about what it says on the website about these guys. The official name also for, for this brush that you guys is called the What's in a Name Rose Brush brushes, trademark work, and basically you guys, for $55 you get these four beautiful brushes. It says, these stunning scarlet ombre cruelty free synthetic bristles have a gorgeous green rose stem that is made out of metal alloy. So it's sturdy you guys, these feel good. All right, so in this set you guys, you get a tapered highlighting brush, which I'm gonna assume is this one. Now when they say highlighting, they could mean like a metallic cheek glow, or they could mean like putting, you know, setting powder or powders over your concealer. So we're definitely gonna test out that. You also get a angled contour uh, and blush brush, and that looks something like this guy. That is the angled one. And then you get a flat top powder brush and a dome top powder brush, which here is the flat top. And then here is the dome top powder brush. Now I do gotta say, I know you can't feel these through the screen. They feel really good, bitch. These feel good. So it does say that these brushes can be used with creams and liquids. However, the bristle density, so like how thick the bristles are in here, is more suitable for powder formulas. The brushes can be washed and the bristles will maintain their beautiful scarlet color. Ooh, I like how they said that because a lot of times you guys, you'll buy something, you'll wash it and then like, like the color kind of like comes off and you're like, but allegedly these do not do that. Of course, I've never used them and I have not cleaned them yet. So we'll have to see about that uh, at a later date. But you guys, basically I am going to try um, out all four brushes. I do have to put on primer and foundation with another brush because there is not a foundation brush in this set, but we will test out loose powder, uh, foundation powder, contour, and highlight. So, if you wanna see me get down on this face, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, for primer, I know I've used so many primers on this channel. I've actually been using this off camera for a few times, and I really love it. It's from a brand called Touch In Soul that I found on Sephora. This brand is kind of indie, and basically this is a smooth and pore covering primer. It is kind of like tacky and almost like, not Play-Doh-y, but it has like that weird, you know what it reminds me of? It was, uh, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Oh my God, it's kind of like the same color. That's kind of weird. So I'm gonna take a little dollop like that, and let's put this all over. 
Now it doesn't leave your skin like really tacky tacky, but it just feels very like smooth. I mean, that is a really good word to describe it. Smooth as fuck, girl. All right, for foundation today, I'm gonna be going in with the Dior Forever Foundation. Now, Jaclyn Hill recommended this foundation, and I'm like, girl, if you love it, I gotta try this out. So basically, this is like a pore refining, uh, perfect makeup, everlasting wear with sunscreen type of foundation, and I really love it. I'm just gonna be real. I, I didn't even film a first impressions because it's been out for a while, and I'm like, girl, ain't no one gonna watch that. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know, but I figure, let me just try it off camera and then I'll try it in a video if it even works. Girl, it works. Now, usually I apply it with a beauty blender, but because we're doing a brush video, I thought maybe I'll try to do a brush. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, what the hell is going on? So I'm gonna try this, this is like a Sephora domed, like, little pro brush, and I'm gonna do the foundation first and then we're gonna test out the rose brushes. All right, of course, we gotta do one more step, which is apply concealer before we try out all the brushes with the powders. So I'm gonna be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and we're just going to, you see a beauty blender in my hand, y'all. I'm just gonna bounce this out really quickly. Oh my God, I've used this a lot, bitch. Where is it? This is like Rob Kardashian's Instagram. It ain't there anymore. There we go. Shit. All right, the concealer is blended out. Now, let's try the brushes. Okay, so the first brush here, you guys, it says the, well, we can do them in every order we want. I really wanna do the powder brushes first because I am gonna do a little bit of baking and some foundation powder all over this face. So, the website says that there is a dome top powder brush and a flat top powder brush. So of course, this will be the flat one, which to me looks like you could like pack on powder with it. And then of course, we have the dome top powder brush. So I think you guys, I'm just going to, first of all, take some loose powder. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite La Mer, the powder. Now I would normally use this one for the flat top one. I'm down to, to put in like powder foundation, but for this, we're gonna set our concealer everywhere where I put the concealer. So let's, oh my God, I barely did that in girl the product adheres to the bristles thank you Jesus dust that off and I'm gonna press this under my eye oh wow all the product is like literally in my skin that was really easy I'm like is there any magic tricks going on here let me look let me look closer wow yeah this side is like yeah it's normal but this side is like extra snatch voila you guys damn of course we are going to hit the chin come on chin and then the little smile lines a little bit on the nose and then the forehead all right, now we're gonna try out the Rose Flat Top Powder Brush. Now this looks really dense, it feels good. So I'm just gonna go in what I normally would do. Um, lately I've been loving the Chanel, what is this? The Double Perfection Lumineer Foundation Powder. Um, I'm gonna hit pan on this soon. So we're gonna go in with this and we are going to, of course, the brush is clean. We're going to pack some powder on that fucking bristles. We are coated. Now what I'm gonna do, like I normally do, is just take this and we're gonna press and pack this all into the skin. I think the only thing that I would say about this one already is I wish it was maybe a little bigger, just because packing it on, you see, you already need to dip in again, you know what I mean? So you have to kind of go in smaller sections than if you would have had like a bigger brush. But to me, that's really not the end of the world because hey, if you're sitting at home doing your makeup, unless you're in a rush, you're good, girl. That shit is giving me full coverage vibes and I am living for it. It really packed it into the skin and I am a fan already. Okay, cool. Now let's try to contour. Okay, only in the Jeffree video will I review one product and then use 16 other ones. I was just feeling a little corpse-like, so I needed some lipstick. And before everyone's like, girl, what the fuck is that? This is the new Skin Tight Lip Ammo. Now we are going to try out the contour brush. So it looks like something like this. It is uh, angled, I love that. So I'm gonna assume we're just gonna go. And what are we gonna use today? The first thing that I'm noticing is I have this little, oh I love this one. This is the Maybelline Master Contour. You've seen me use this plenty of times. And I'm just gonna go in, and let's just see how this works first of all. Great, it picks up the pigment. I love that about these brushes. Okay, so I'm just gonna start here and just kinda follow my natural razor sharp cheekbones. 
and oh wow and then we're just gonna with no other product we're just gonna kind of blend up and see if the product wants to move it applied it really like i don't want to say natural but kind of natural i mean you guys know i go hard on the contour and this is like i don't even know why i'm still blending it really doesn't need it i know a lot of you're probably wondering like how does it feel to hold the brush like i am reviewing brushes i know i don't do that often on my channel but i do want to note that these are easy. Now, when I saw them online, I was a little weary. I was a little scared. Like, okay, it's a stem. How hard is it going to be to hold compared to, like, a normal contour brush that's, like, thick? It's really not, like, I don't really notice a difference. It's almost like you have, like, a ballpoint pen. Um, and this isn't too heavy where you're like, oh, my God, it's, like, a dead weight. It feels really good. Like, it's expensive feeling, but not, like, oh, my God, I'm going to, like, get carpal tunnel tomorrow type of feeling. You guys know I'm about to cut this jawline up and it's blending really, really nice. I'm just taking some more product and just kind of tucking it under the chin and the jaw. Now, the only thing that you really can't do with that brush is contour your nose. So we can skip it or, I mean, honestly, you could use the tip of this if you're like, hey girl, this is all we got. You can put product there and probably just kind of, you know, flick down. Oh yeah, that distributed product. Is it gonna be the best no like nose contour of your life? Probably not, but hey, it's working. All right, you guys, the face is contoured. Now it says you can also apply blush with this brush. So I'm just gonna use my hand and dust it off and let's try some blush, I guess. All right, you guys, for blush today, we're gonna go in with my one of my all-time favorites. It is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. It is called Lines and Last Night. And we are just going to go in with the same brush now that it's a little clean and we'll just, oh girl, yeah. These brushes hold the pigment. Let's just apply a little bit to the apples of our cheeks and see what happens. I love how soft it applies it. It's like not too extreme. It's not like, oh shit, she has blush on. It is really, yeah, it's soft. All right, the blush applied really nicely. I'm loving how it looks. And now it says this is like a tapered highlighting brush. This is the only thing I really haven't used yet. Now highlighting, I'm gonna assume, like a lot of the times you guys know I'll take highlighting powder, meaning to highlight your under eyes, not metal or metallic looking highlighters. You can take this, bam, bam, and press it under the eye. You can definitely do that. But I mean, I'm down to apply some highlight. For the metal glow today, we're gonna be going in with one of my favorites. This is from Sleek Makeup. This is the Solstice Highlighting Palette. Let's open her up. And I'm gonna be using these two powders today. That's actually a cream. We're just gonna go in with this little guy. And here, we'll just mix and match. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and merge it into the contour and Oh, now this is a really, really bright highlight. So of course, if you don't want this look, you can go in with something softer. Now I was a little worried that this was gonna be too thick on top and kind of make it go everywhere, but it really put it exactly where I wanted it. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the highlighting powder, maybe do my chin and this little hair very subtly. Of course, you guys see I just hit my nose to an extreme level. Besides that, you guys, we have tested out all four brushes. So let me give y'all my final thoughts. So after testing these bad bitches out, I will say this, I'm a fan. They all worked. I was like, okay, maybe one's gonna do the job or like I didn't know how they were gonna feel. They feel expensive. I love the design. The design is an A plus for me. I'm sure you guys are like, yes girl, they are very cute. I love how soft the bristles feel. A lot of the times with synthetic or vegan brushes, they can feel a little plasticky, a little cheap, but um, obviously companies are finding a way to make them feel way more luxurious because because girl, these are really, really nice. So let's go in order. Let's see here. We have the powder brush. This one was amazing. It applied everything really great, very soft. Now the flat top powder brush, it packed in the powder amazing. Of course, I did say something about the size. I do wish it was maybe a little bigger to distribute the powder more quick. Lee, but hey, it did the job, so I cannot hate on that. Now, the angled contour and blush brush, I loved it. This one may be my favorite from all four. The way it applied the contour was so quick and easy, and I just loved how it just blended out soft. And then, of course, we just did the highlighting tapered brush, which definitely worked. I wouldn't normally apply my highlight with this big of a brush. Looking in the monitor, it definitely went a little over the contour. I would probably keep the highlight probably a little bit up there, but of course it is a bigger brush. And hey, it may be for highlighting with powders under the eye. I didn't ask the company, but um, I will find out eventually. All right, so I'm just gonna say it right here, the Storybook Cosmetics Rose brushes are... Jeffree Star, approved. <laughs> um, I really like them, you guys. I think 
for $55. Is the price point good? I know a lot of you are gonna be questioning the price. Look, the brushes are very well made. They are very unique. I'm just gonna hold up some random brushes here. Girl, you know what brushes look like. They all look the same. So you're definitely getting a specialty item and this is from an indie company. So if you're someone that loves indie brands, the women that run this company are really cool um, and I love supporting indie companies. So um, these are amazing. If you guys get the chance, grab them. They're really fucking cool. And if you wanna of course enter my giveaway, you can and hopefully you will be the lucky winner, which of course features this palette and a brand new brush set. I'm gonna pick two winners, so one person gets the set, one person gets the palette, and the giveaway will be ending July 11th, so that is like four, yeah, it's like four days from when this will be uploaded. So, I will leave the winners, of course, in the description box, like always, and I love to DM them myself and say congrats. So, if you wanna win, you got four days to try it, girl. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new about this product because I loved it. Alright you guys, I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.